as you can see we have two environment stage and prod and now we are going to log in into the Drumine web app with an existing user here we choose my company we need to create a company once we have a company we can create projects a name, a description, a picture the most important thing here is the last one where you can choose the architecture we are going to use prod stage dev environment and locals environments okay so this is the node.js app that is already installed in each Drupal server as you can see this is the list of my projects and I don't have any environment yet I choose production and now I am going to complete the uh, IP of the server uh, the IP of the server, the database name, the username and password also we need to choose a name for the Drumine database and click on create so production is ready we are going to also install in the same server stage environment and that's all now if we click in the compare button in stage environment uh, we are just seeing that we have a lot of blocks in production and in stage I mean uh, both environments are the same so if you click on compare you will see a list of blocks in this case and the color is green because we have the same uh, blocks in both environments so we are going to create a new block just with with data example data and we are going to expose this block in the second bar here it is the new block hello uh, as you can see in production is not there so we are going to refresh the block tab of uh, Drumine and you can see that we have a row in red and pushing in the clicking on the push button okay the block was in production now with the same configuration the same content okay another uh, test that we can uh, do is to change something in the block this time we are altering the block in the production environment so this time what we are going to see is a row in yellow or in orange in order to let the user know that uh, a specific block has some changes and clicking on the push button from prod to the stage we are going to sync that block that specific block so in this stage we the block is there with the new changes that we did in prod environment so now we can try with a with another example a bit more complex a taxonomy so we are going to create a taxonomy in the stage environment and uh, let's say the countries taxonomy
and in order to do a complete example we are going to add a custom field let's say population just with the default options okay now we that we can have the taxonomy we are going to add some terms and also after uh, we have um, all the terms in this uh, taxonomy we are going to um, do this taxonomy um, a hierarchical taxonomy Here we go, Buenos Aires under Argentina and Santiago de Chile under, Chi under Chile. Now what we are going to do is to go back to the Drumine app. Uh, we are just showing that the taxonomy is not there in production yet. So we move to the taxonomy tab in Drumine and you can see in red that we have a taxonomy in stage but not in prod clicking on push button we are going to pass the taxonomy to the prod environment and just reloading the page and going to taxonomy you can see that the taxonomy is there with the hierarchical structure and all the data that we create in the stage environment a minute ago And you can see that the custom field is also there. So this is how Drumain works.